It's Friday the 15th, the last day of the excavation, and it's now afternoon. We've spent the morning backfilling the trench. It's completely closed down. We've had a wonderful season. We've got a, a very important site and a new cave, which we look forward to coming back to. I've been delighted with every aspect of it. We've got a wonderful team, but now we're about to go into the centre and find out their opinions. Each student's going to give a little talk on what they've learned from the experience and, uh, and what they've got out of it. When I first found out that we were going to be doing uh, an archaeological dig in first year, I was very excited to see Cresswell Crags on the list. Um, my tutor loves it um, and she always recommended to dig here if ever you've got the chance. So I leapt at it. This dig has taught me a lot of things, not only about other people, not only about history, but also about myself. Um, I know that I can speak to people whenever I need to. I can communicate far better than I used to be able to. Um, speaking to the public is a massive step forward for me. The trench we were in as well is also a lot smaller than I'd have thought, but obviously working in the parameters that we've got here at Creswell, it's to be expected. Um, I'd also like to take a massive th thank you to Paul and to everybody here at the centre and in the Enterprise Zone as well. It's been really good. Like sort of most of the other people here, I mean, especially the first year, I've had the opportunity to do most of the things here, from sort of digging to fines washing to uh, wet sieving and then a bit more wet sieving. Um, I've definitely learnt a lot, uh, particularly about how to sort of identify various different bits and pieces. That's mainly thanks to Rob and his constant questioning and Becky and sort of the fountain of knowledge in her head. I've learnt how to recognise things like bone, um, breccia, quartzite and everything and to try and distinguish them from rocks which is harder than it seems. Obviously with all the sediment that's been from the trench, taking them down to be wet sieved. That was um, an interesting thing to do. I didn't really know what to expect because I've never been on a dig before. So I basically, my first thoughts were going to sit in a trench, do a bit of digging and then go back to campsite. And I didn't quite realise how much more there was involved with going on an actual dig. I've learned a lot of stuff about archaeology, all the different parts of it, and it's really, really, really hard work. You need to have a lot of cooperation and if you do you can have really good results like I think we have. I've been really 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 inspired by the passion of all the archaeologists because they're so enthusiastic it just rubs off on you. Um, it was my first time camping, I don't like it, I'm never doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, everyone's been really nice so it sort of helped it through and when we saw Shooting Stars a few nights ago that was absolutely amazing, it made it all worthwhile. As most people know, I'm going into my final year now of my undergraduate and so this summer is quite an important time for me because I'm trying to get a lot more experience in what I want to do when I finish. Hopefully the fact that I've um, done this along with some of the other digs will help me to show my commitment and I've learned a lot more about um, certain parts of um, the archaeological record that I didn't know before. Um, that's the first thing I'd like to say, it's just been an amazing time um, from, from start to finish. Um, I mean, I, probably the, the, the previous conceptions I had about archaeology came from uh, Time Team and, uh, God forbid, Bone Kickers, uh, <laughs> where it's, you know, neat sections, massive trenches, loads of finds, and an 80s comedy started to keep you entertained. Uh, I was taught pretty much everything by Rob, Jay and Tash, um, especially wet sieving, which it seems to be a recurring theme, <laughs> which I'd like to put wrong. I actually like wet sieving. Yes. Um, but also with Paul and Alistair there, um, just in case anything happens, and then we ever need any advice, they're always really, really approachable. There's really the other things we did was um, sorting finds, which is probably the easiest thing we do. Um, the day I did it, it was absolutely lashing, so I got to sit, sit in a nice dry marquee, scrubbing snails, which was brilliant. Um, my favourite part was, uh, was, was actually in the trench and, and, and digging, where I found yet more snails for people to watch. But I did, in fact, find a, a nice quartzite flake. I guess I'm in a sort of unique position because I'm one of the few people who's actually dug here before. Last year, I was largely responsible for the wet sieving that was done, <laughs> probably because nobody else wants to do it. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, and I was able this year to ensure that that, that sort of ran smoothly. Um, wet sieve is obviously very labour intensive, which is why nobody likes it very much. But um, the biggest challenge for me to, this year was teaching everybody else how to wet sieve. Um, 
But they all did a fantastic job. They were all really good and they all listened really well and mostly they did it with a smile. Also, talking to the public is something that I really enjoy uh, um, because I feel everything we do is ultimately aimed at the public. You know, the only reason that we're looking at anything from the past is to tell other people about it so that they know about their heritage. So I think it's very important and a very useful part of being an archaeologist is to be able to talk to people and explain what's going on because they love it too. I didn't do much digging, uh, but that's mostly because I just really, really, really enjoyed sorting through everything. And I think I learned a lot more by sort of looking at things and analysing them. And um, I think somebody said before, you learn a lot more by sort of educating the public about what you've found. It was just a really, really fun experience and everyone was brilliant. Um, I've met a lot of people in the department who I wouldn't normally have done otherwise, um, which is going to be really good because uh, next year's um, <coughs> next year's um, socials should be a lot bigger and grander and more fun. I think my favourite thing was probably fine swashing because you got to see everything that came out of the trench, not just a small selection of things. Um, finding artefacts like mammoth feet and the cheddar point were really incredible. Other things I've learned was um, talking to the public has given me a lot of confidence. It's also helped me learn a lot more about the dig because if they ask a question, you have to be prepared for it. So it's made me sort of learn more about Paleolithic archaeology in general. People have all been great. I've made loads of really good friends and I've had an amazing time. It was nothing like I expected it to be, but it was a lot better.